Okay, so welcome to Seeds for Change. I know I just did the video for the exercise, but I was thinking I'm visiting my daughter and um, I needed to have something for us to eat. So anyways, crock pot is super easy and um, we don't have any bone broth, but what I have in here are chicken tenderloins. And so you just grab a pack of chicken tenderloins and you just put it in your crock pot. You set your crock pot to low and this is going to be like a fajita style um, um, chicken. And I'm gonna, just gonna let it cook all throughout the day. And so what I'm gonna put in there is I'm gonna put in um, actually a lime. So I will um, cut up the lime. I didn't wanna have to go through the whole process um, because I only have three minutes to show the video. Um, so anyways, so we're gonna cut up the lime to get the juices. Um, also, if you have bone broth, that um, the organic bone broth, that's super good for your belly. And um, I would encourage you to put that in here. The whole, um, they come in containers that are about this size, um, except for it says bone broth, um, organic bone broth. So I put that in there just because it's really good for your digestive system. I'm gonna put in a whole onion I'm gonna put in some garlic, and then I'm gonna put in some, wait, it's the, um, it's this Tamari Life, and so it's gluten-free, it's low in salt, and um, low in sodium, well, low in salt, low in sodium, kind of given. Um, so I put some of that in there also. That's probably about one tablespoon that I probably put in there. I will put in some avocado oil. So probably about one tablespoon of avocado oil, which is super good for your brain health. And so taco seasoning. So about a tablespoon of the taco seasoning also. As you can tell, I'm like the pen, I'm not a exact measurer. Um, and then, like I said, the garlic. So I just use the fresh garlic. And again, I just dump it. So dump it in there. And then you're just gonna let it cook all the way until around five. And then typically what I like to have with that is either you can put it over a like jasmine type of rice that I make in a rice cooker um, with the bone broth also. Um, as often as I can use bone broth, the organic bone broth, I do just because the digestive system really needs that. It helps us, um, it just helps us in a lot of different ways. So anyways, so this is pretty much done. That's all you have to do. Let it sit, it's gonna smell great all throughout the day. And so that is just one of the food tips that I have for you for today. And so you can make it with rice. You can go ahead, you can make your own little um, gluten-free. I do zucchini, um, zucchini and I shred it. And then I make it into um, like a little flat thing, you know, with um, the gluten-free, um, the all-purpose flour that's gluten-free and I mix that in together and then I air fry it and it kind of makes kind of like a thick little bitty like um, corn tortilla type of thing, but it's not corn, it's zucchini. So anyways, but I can show that in some other video how to do that. But as for today, if you want to, you can just use the rice cooker and use the bone broth for the water and add water. So it's for every cup of rice, you add two cups of either bone broth or water. So have a great day. Bye.